If it's an input, it's waiting, the Arduino is waiting for a reading from that pin. If we say this pin is going to be an output, but then we can link up an LED or a light to it, a fan to it, a motor to it, so we can send power to it, so we turn it on or turn it off. If this button is pressed on digital pin zero, turn on the fan that is um, connected to digital pin two. So that means press the button, the fan goes off, the fan goes on, release the button, the fan goes off. The easiest place to actually see this is to actually copy and paste it into your Arduino. Up in the right hand corner, this magnified. If you just start typing A R D U I N O, and you'll see the applications. If it's done uploading, you should now see a light turning on and off. We basically start off with Limerick, um, covering all the points like King John's Castle, the places of sieges like um, uh, Tullamore Bridge and the Treaty Stone, anywhere of interest. So you can um, walk around Limerick and find out more about these places. Um, it's going to aim to that, say, second secondary school students um, uh, learning a bit more about them um, by the 17th century. And we adapted it for towns throughout Ireland and it spans around six towns across Ireland now. Um, and uh, it can display audio and text elements, which is kind of the basic uh, um, layer elements that you can get in. You can get in animations and play movies and all that kind of thing like that, which you've probably seen from videos yourself, um, which is beyond the scope of this project. Um, and of course, with every single design project that uh, we've come on halfway through, they decided they want the website as well. So we have to load in a website then too, um, and you can find that at arabandresiege.com. It just provides uh, offside access to POI, so if students, um, you know, in a classroom environment, if they want to go and find out more about the POIs, um, and they can have a, a little further bit of information. Um, very simple website, but... But we know that we can encode um, numbers with an extra letter, bring up the base, and you get a shorter code. So if you bring it up to base 25, you just make it shorter. There are world codes that use base 30 or something. They use, or you could use um, upper and lower case letters, but that wouldn't work for a postcode. That would work for um, a database. So if no human is ever interacting with it, that would be fine. Uh, B and S went, because S sometimes looks like a five. Z looks like a two at times. One and zero can look like vowels, so you could still write um, nasty words with just one and zero. Excuse me if I'm getting the wrong, uh, uh, saying the wrong letters here now, because on top of everything, I have no ability to remember numbers. Um, so there's my alphabet. Now, if you could just do an ordinary base 25 calculation and get um, a string of characters. And all you do here is a simple string replace. Just replace these characters, or in a lot of code, just look for the position 22 when you have your letter here. You don't even have to do base calculations. So that's